Today I'm going to show you how to set up Windows Sonic, Razer THX, and Dolby Atmos to provide simulated surround sound to any stereo headphones through your PC. Let's start with listening to some sample audio in 5.1 that's downmixed to just stereo audio with no simulated surround sound. If you don't know what I mean by downmixed, then you should check out my video I'm making later this week explaining it and how simulated surround sound works. The example I'll be using throughout this video is a scene from Kung Fu Panda with 5.1. I didn't choose a 7.1 example because it's not often that you'll run into that, and I chose Kung Fu Panda because I had it on hand and it's not biased to Dolby or THX. You can hear all the audio even though it's just being played from the left and right headset speakers, but it isn't going to simulate the surround sound. Now, let's set up Windows Sonic because it's free and available on all Windows 10 PCs and we'll listen to the same audio. First, we'll open up our sound settings and we'll make sure our device is selected. We'll choose device properties and our spatial sound format will be Windows Sonic for headphones. Now, because this audio is simulated and then downmixed, if I'm recording the downmixed audio, it'll still sound simulated. So you'll be able to hear what I hear. Now, there isn't that great of a difference, but it is definitely more directional and gives you a fuller experience like you're in a larger room. Not bad considering Microsoft made this available for free and how easy it is to implement. Next up is Dolby Atmos because it's the second easiest and second cheapest. You'll have to download the Dolby Access app through the Windows Store. It's $15 to own, but there is a free trial and there are a few headsets that actually come with a free copy of Dolby Access if you're in the market for a new pair. When you first launch the app, it will help you set up Atmos, or you can go through your sound settings and set it up just like we did with Windows Sonic. There are tons of videos to watch through the app that are great demos for Dolby and the only reason I didn't use them for our comparisons is because I wanted to make sure the audio I used wasn't biased towards Dolby Atmos. You can also go to the settings and use one of the preset equalizers or set your own. But I'm going to leave mine set for performance mode so that it gives us a fair test on how it sounds stock. We'll listen again to our demo audio. Now, in my opinion, Atmos sounds richer and fuller, and the bass also seems a little bit deeper without being distorted. All things considered, this is my preferred experience for simulated surround sound, but this is going to vary from person to person and depending on what headset you're using as well. We're moving on to setup for THX, which is a little bit more complicated and it's a little more expensive at $20. It also has a free trial though, so it's worth a shot if you're trying to get every little bit out of your headset. Razer Synapse provides THX for supported headsets like my Razer Kraken, and you can check out my video on the setup if you're interested on what that looks like. The THX app will help you through the setup of choosing the THX output as our default and our headset as the listening device. There are equalizer settings in the app, but again, we'll be using the baseline to get a fair test. THX also includes sound normalization, which Atmos had, but goes further by adding the bass boost and vocal clarity options. Another feature that is unique to THX is the distance calibration setting. I'm leaving it alone for the test, but I have previously adjusted it and liked the support for it when it comes to fine tuning my audio by removing and adding a spacious and natural roomy feeling for the audio. Once again, we'll take a look at our sample scene. THX comes through definitely louder and has great spatial presence, but it does feel airy or maybe even a little distorted. With some tweaking of the EQ and other settings, you could probably get some better audio, 
But if you're like me, then you're not an audiophile, you just like nice audio, and won't really feel happy having to sit and fiddle with something that you're not fully confident about. And you'll always feel like you need to adjust it just that little bit more. If it's not obvious, then I'll clarify my stance for now. Atmos is my winner and what I personally use, but THX is a great app and is a runner up, but it just doesn't fit my setup well. This could be different depending on your headset. Sonic is my third choice, but if you don't have a very good headset and you don't feel like paying for a little bit better audio, it's still a great upgrade to any stereo headphones and it's incredibly easy to set up. Regardless of which you go with, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for making it this far. Comment below if you've got any questions or need any follow-up videos other than the one I've mentioned earlier that I have planned for explaining down mixing and how virtual surround sound works. Subscribe if you want more content like this and I'll catch you all later.